to translate science in daily life. How can scientists build a bridge between science and society? Which are the tools to communicate? Different languages, different media, but only one clear message. This is what a group of young scientists within the EMI program is trying to address during these days in Siena. EMIT stands for European Initiative for Microbiology and Infectious Diseases and links together five leading research institutes consisting of Novartis Vaccines Italy, Karolinska Institute Sweden, Imperial College UK, Max Planck Institute in Germany and Pasteur Institute in France. Here, Emits organized a meeting between scientists and media representatives. Professionals from TV, press, radio, web, and photography showed how they reached the public. All this media could be used as bricks to fill the gap between science and community. The key is to find a common language. This would be beneficial for both. Being short and clear is essential to deliver a message understandable by everyone. It's important not only what, but also how you say it. Ciao, I'm Giacomo and I'm Italian. I'm a PhD student of the EMIT program and I'm at currently at Institut Pasteur in Paris. I'm working in protein design to discover new medication against malaria. And uh, why move to science? Because it's a challenge and because it's positive impact into the society. And for the future, maybe I will move into business and helping companies to develop their technology. I'm a postdoc at Novartis Vaccines and Diagnostics. I did my PhD at Johns Hopkins in the United States. I'm interested in, in immunology of uh, infants and why infants respond poorly to infectious diseases and to vaccines. And I hope to study that further in my postdoc here at Novartis. Hi, uh, my name is Francisco. I come from Portugal, uh, I do my studies in Imperial College in London, I'm a PhD student from the AMID program, uh, um, my studies are focused on bacterial infections where I study the interactions between salmonella and the host cells. Uh, why did I choose science in the first way? Because I'm a curious person and I'm fascinated by the biology of infectious diseases. I pretend to continue to doing research in the future and uh, hopefully develop uh, new strategies and new ways to fight infectious diseases in the world. Hello, my name is Beatriz. I'm from Colombia. I'm doing a PhD at the Max Planck Institute for Infection Biology. And my research project is focused on the study of the liver infection by the malaria parasite. In the near future, I'm planning to acquire some world experience at a research institute in Europe. Hi, my name is Alexandre, I'm French, a PhD student at the Max Planck Institute for Infection Biology in Berlin. And I decided to do research because I've always been fascinated by nature and science. 
I recently decided to move to Boston uh, to do a laboratory rotation and uh, I'm studying there uh, how the body reacts against infection with microorganisms and that's what I'm planning to go on with in Boston for the few years to come. Get a shiver in the dark, it's raining in the park, but meantime Sound of the river, you're stopping your hole, everything Hi, my name is Esther Mungai and I am from Kenya. I am a PhD student on the EMI program. During my work with Novartis vaccines, I have come to realize the challenges faced by resource poor countries in accessing vaccines. Therefore, for my future work on a public health program, I hope to study the cost-effectiveness of making these vaccines accessible, as well as the policy issues involved. Hello, I'm Valentina Dimitrovska and I'm coming from Skopje, Macedonia. The IMIT was the first program open from the students coming from non-European Union country. I'm a PhD student in Novartis working on the vaccine development project against the pneumonia diseases. I would like to stay in the field of science to give my contribution to the world against the infection diseases.